Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a neutral and pink look which is perfect for summer. I'll also talk about my hair and my nails. So let's get started. I'm starting with my Bare Minerals foundation. I've been really into lightweight foundation lately, especially now since the weather is getting warmer. So powder foundation is perfect for me. So next, I'm using my Maybelline concealer and applying that underneath the eyes to basically cover dark circles and eye bags. Okay, so now I'm just taking my True Match powder and using that to set my foundation and my concealer. Next are the eyebrows. I'm using my Rimmel Brow Pencil to just lightly fill them in. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys, but I also used a spoolie brush to blend everything together and just get rid of harsh lines. So now it's time for the eye makeup. I'm using my e.l.f. primer to prime my eyelid so that my eyeshadow lasts all day. And after that, I'm taking this beautiful light brown eyeshadow and applying that all over my lid. And now I'm taking the dark brown eyeshadow and applying that all over my crease. So now I'm using a clean blending brush to blend everything together and getting rid of any harsh lines. Okay, so now it's on to the eyeliner. I'm using a gel liner to create a smaller winged outline. And here, I'm using Kaylin Cosmetics Gel Liner in purple. I like using purple or brown liners at times to create a more soft look. Sometimes black liners can just look too strong and overpowering. So, um, so yeah, definitely use brown or purple for a more subtle look. Now I'm taking my eyelash curler and just curling my lashes and now I'm applying mascara. Oh, I also forgot to show in this video that I added a light brown eyeshadow underneath my waterline. So um, yeah, in case you guys were wondering. Oh, and I've actually taken a break from wearing false eyelashes. And I've noticed that my eyelashes have grown and got thicker, which is awesome. Has that ever happened to you guys? So now it's time to contour. I'll be contouring my cheeks, forehead, jawline, and a little bit on my neck. And here I'm using NYX's Mosaic Blush in Dare. This stuff is actually pretty cool since you can also use it as a blush. So um, yeah, I'm just going to apply some of that to my cheeks. And now for the lips, I'm using a pencil liner first. And by applying a pencil liner first before the lipstick really helps with the lasting power. I think I learned this trick from Andrea's Choice, so thank you Andrea for the idea. Here I'm using Starlux Pencil in Tipsy. And lastly, I'm using one of my favorite Revlon lipstick and just dabbing that all over my lips. And we are all done with the makeup! Yay! <laughs> so now it's time for the hair. I have my hair straight today, so I'm just using the pst dry shampoo to basically refresh and revive my hair. And it also gives me lots of volume, which is awesome. So I'm just basically spreading that product evenly all over my roots. And we are all done! That is it for our makeup and hair look. And in case you guys were wondering, I'm wearing Mermaid's Dream by Deborah Lipman on my nails. 
Also, I was kind of getting creative with my J-Cat Beauty Cream palette and I just came up with these flowers. Ipsy is going to have a body art contest, so if you are artsy or creative, go over to their Facebook if you want to join. Um, I'll put a link down in the description box. And lastly, thumbs up this video if you guys would like me to upload my living room tour for next week's video. And that is it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Shelby by Zoya, Madison Ave Hugh by Essie, Seeing Pink Elephants by Sephora OPI, Bubblegum Pink by Sally Hansen, Off the Shoulder by Essie, Chiffon Chic by Maybelline, Pastel Pink by Models Own, Cotton Candy by Sinful Colors, Lovey Dovey by Essie, which is one of my favorite pinks, and Wool Light by Sally Hansen, which is part of their Fuzzy Coat collection.